Shalom. Ya Allah, Hashem, Ya Shai Brakta, Double Honesty of Passes and Elves of Great Millstone. As uh, Ya Usap from um, GMS Guyana. We do a quick lesson to you know, exhort and admonish your brothers. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. So therefore, Ya Allah, Hashem, Ya Shai, given us this truth. That's already, that's ultimately made us judges, you know. So therefore, we should love righteousness and love, love, um, Love doing judgment, all right? So I'm just um, stitching this priest out real quick. This is uh, Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 15 It is joy to the just to do judgment but destruction shall be the workers of iniquity So that's why I said from the beginning love righteousness So if you don't love righteousness if you don't love correcting your brothers if you don't love correcting the wicked and, and prophesying the abominable things that are going on in this world then therefore terrible judgment is going to fall upon you Alright Think of Yahweh with a good heart which goes back to the Hebrew word love or love which means mind, right? And in simplicity of heart, seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. So Yahweh Hashem is going to be found in those that doesn't um, um, exhaust the grace, exhaust the, 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 this time period that Moses has given us to get our act together, you know? And he showeth himself unto such as do not this, as do not distrust him. So he can show himself on those who are fully in faith because that's what faith really means to trust in somebody right to have to have um confidence to have hope to to depend on them you know so we depend on Yahweh Hashem Yoshai to deliver us and to keep us um sound and sane in this crazy world verse 3 for forward thoughts separate from Yahweh and his power when it is tried reproveth the unwise so if your thoughts is all over the place you're trying to get entangled in this world, you're trying to get um, you know involved in, in things that ain't really occurring to prophecy. Scripture said be occupied in, in prophecy, all right. Verse 4, he will uh, yeah, verse 4. For for into the malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Right? So if anybody got like a malicious um, attitude towards his truth, the most I so the most high wisdom will not enter and it will be clearly seen amongst true men in large, true wise men and they will point that, point that shit out. Verse 5 For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteous coming, coming in. So there's three points there. If you're not disciplined, if you don't have understanding, and if you're unrighteous, and this is the first thing when you come into this truth, you gotta understand that these the, the men, the most high set up men to teach us and to help us understand that you should know your place in this truth. Alright, so I'm with the apostles and elders of the great things going on down. Um, um, those that lack understanding. If somebody trying to show you something over and over, they mean that you lack understanding, they mean that you're not subjecting yourself onto scriptures, alright? Because um I'm sure this quick priest of you why you have to subject yourself on the scriptures first. The scriptures are always always heavy on my heart. This is um Ecclesiastes chapter two verse twenty six for Yahweh giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and knowledge and joy. Alright? It's lucky. Like so the most I give to a man is good. That mean that the most I have to see something or choose you to be of this of this spirit of or of this lot in order to give you the wisdom and understanding. So if you dwell in unrighteousness and you lack on un, on un, if you lack understanding, then therefore you just fooling yourself. You have the wisdom of the world or the wisdom of yourself. Verse 7. For the spirit of Yahweh filleth the world, that which and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. You know, they're going back to um creation, but as, as Israelites, as judges of the earth, 
we, we, we govern we govern the world and we start we get the most high preparing us to govern this kingdom. Verse 8. Therefore, he that speaketh on righteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance when it when it punisheth passeth by. Alright, that that's 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 clear as day. Don't be talking nonsense, you know, speak righteous things, things according to scriptures. Verse 9. For inquisition shall be made unto the counsels of the un ungodly, and the sound and the sound of his words shall come unto Yahweh for a manifestation of his of his wicked deeds. So his wicked deeds are gonna manifest, like I said earlier, you know. His wicked deeds are gonna manifest not only to Yahweh, but through his prophets, through the men. They're gonna see the wickedness that this man be going on with. Alright? Verse 10, for the ear of jealousy heareth all things. And the noise of mur murmurings are not hid. So you might not be saying that, you know, I can't stand this bread and can't, you know, like sick of, sick of stand up all day in this cold, or I sick of stand up here every Saturday, you know, I could just go and drink two beer. You know, that's murmurings. But you know, just the scripture saying on Corinthians, um, you know, we should do this thing willingly. Willingly, you know. Um, last verse, uh, verse 11. Therefore, beware of murmurings which is unprofitable. And refrain your tongue from backbiting, as in you can you can swallow your own words. Don't go back on your own words. You can make a vow to Yahweh your shed. Keep it, all right. And be, be, be beware of your murmurings, whether either to a brother or towards the whole truth. For there is no word so secret that shall go for naught, and the mouth that belieth belieth slay the soul. Because the book of Proverbs said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And I'll see how Shai is saying in the gospel said, um, every idle word a man shall be accountable for. So, you know, your thought, word, and deed, you know, you know, love righteousness and keep praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And with that, I hope that our brothers was edified. Shalom, Prophet